Deep Seek shaking up global tech. Nvidia yeah. losing nearly $600 billion in market cap today alone. OpenAI's entire moat is predicated on people not having Today, access. we have a mind-blowing story that's sending shockwaves through the tech world. On January 20th, as Donald Trump was being inaugurated for his second term as the 47th president of the United States, China dropped a technological bombshell. They launched Deep Seek R1, an advanced AI tool for deep data analysis that's now set to rival the likes of OpenAI. And the best part, China achieved this incredible feat in just two short months for a mere $6 million. While competitors like Google and OpenAI took years and billions. Let's dive into what this means for global tech, US-China relations, and even your investment strategies. So, why is the launch of DeepSeek R1 generating so much buzz? For one, it's not just a new AI tool. It's a clear statement by China that they're not just keeping pace with US technology. They're ready to lead the charge. Remember, the US has imposed various tech sanctions in hopes of curbing China's rise. Yet here we are, with China producing a high-performing AI system using significantly less investment and minimal tech resources. Now that's impressive, but let's talk about timing. Releasing this groundbreaking tech on the very same day Trump was sworn in sends a strong message to both the US government and the world. It signifies resilience amidst sanctions and asserts China's position not just as a competitor, but as a formidable player in the technology race. With the Biden administration applying unprecedented tech sanctions aimed at containing China's technological growth. DeepSeek R1 acts as a powerful retaliation, remember. Trump's administration began the trade war with two main objectives. To reduce trade deficits and limit China's manufacturing dominance. But seven years later, we still see China thriving. In fact, China's trade surplus has soared to nearly $1 trillion. Talk about a reality check. Now, let's delve into the financial aspect and the implications for the broader industry. $6 million to develop a competitive AI rival to DeepAI? This suddenly takes the discourse about what it costs to innovate and throws it into a blender. Traditional wisdom dictated that only companies with deep pockets could lead the AI race. But China has dismantled that assumption. The contrast here is stark. While US giants like Google and OpenAI spent decades and accumulated funding not just in the billions, but often asked for and received substantial taxpayer support. A Chinese research lab produced an equivalent system at a fraction of that cost. Now, skeptics might argue that cheaper doesn't necessarily equal better. But that's where the data begins to challenge prevailing assumptions. Initial tests on DeepSeek R1 show it rivals the performance metrics of US counterparts. Raising eyebrows throughout Silicon Valley, the entire tech community is now left asking, how did this happen? Imagine the anxiety that must be brewing among Silicon Valley executives as they grapple with the question, how can they justify the massive salaries and spending on AI research when a model from China can replicate their capabilities for less than the price of a mid-sized car? Unpacking Eric Schmidt's statements. Let's take a moment to reflect on the remarks from former Google CEO Eric Schmidt. Back in May 2024, he boldly claimed that the US was two to three years ahead of China in AI, a statement that many in tech accepted as gospel. However, just six months later, Schmidt's tone had changed dramatically in a speech at Harvard. He acknowledged that companies like Alibaba and Tencent were rapidly narrowing the technological gap. His admission, I thought the restrictions we placed on chips would keep them back. This is shocking to me resonates far beyond a simple appraisal of tech development. It reflects a genuine awakening to the realities of the AI landscape. These shifts in perception reveal the dynamics of innovation and competition. It's not simply about superior resources, it's about agility, cultural attitudes toward technology, and the willingness to embrace challenges as opportunities. Schmidt's transformation from confidence to realization serves as a mirror reflecting the shifting tides in global tech fight. Looking ahead, the return of Donald Trump raises pressing questions about the future trajectory of US-China relations. Will his administration intensify efforts to contain China, or will there be a new opportunity for collaboration? 
As tensions boil on multiple fronts, from trade to technology, the choices made in the coming months will reverberate throughout the global landscape. The irony lies in a trade war that was initiated to reduce trade deficits and limit Chinese manufacturing dominance. Fast forward to today. And recent statistics indicate that China's trade surplus has ballooned to nearly $1 trillion. And its share of global manufacturing is projected to rise from 27% to a staggering 45% by 2030. In essence, the trade war did not achieve its goals. Instead, it pushed China into the next level of economic and technological prowess. Now, amidst this unfolding drama, let's pivot our focus to investment opportunities arising from these geopolitical shifts. Historical patterns indicate that under Trump's leadership, certain sectors like mineral mining witnessed significant growth. Given the current political climate and the potential impact of Trump's policies, strategic investments could yield fruitful results. One of the companies on my radar is Nevada Canyon Gold, a gem in the gold sector based in my home state of Nevada. They're not just mining gold, they're executing a unique business model that leverages royalties and streaming. This approach allows them to minimize overhead costs while maintaining a robust growth trajectory, with Trump's presidency expected to bolster US mining. Nevada Canyon Gold is positioned to capitalize on trends that favor such innovations. Gold has historically shown resilience despite economic volatility, yet mining stocks have plummeted. Presenting a unique opportunity for investors as gold prices rise, as Trump's administration aims to bolster US mining industries and Nevada remains a top-tier gold producer, aligning investments with these trends can pay off handsomely. As we wrap up, it's clear that the landscape of technology and geopolitics is shifting rapidly. DeepSeek R1 marks not just a triumph for China, but a wake-up call for the US tech industry. What are your thoughts on this development? Are you optimistic about the future of US-China relations? And how do you plan to adjust your investment strategies moving forward? Drop a comment below. If you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on the latest in tech and market trends. Until next time, Keep watching the horizon, the future is unfolding right before our eyes.